Hello, how are you? I am very happy to have you today. My name is Teacher Cesar. I am really excited to learn with you about the effects of the sun on living things. No worries, I will help you learn more about it. Smile and everything will be all right. I believe you can do it. Let's get started. What I need to know. This video focuses on the effects of sun's heat and light on living things. It conveys on how the sunlight helps people, animals, and plants survive on earth. It also talks about the intense heat and light of the sun, which could be harmful on living things. It also presents safety precautions to avoid the negative effects of too much exposure to sunlight. This video takes you through a learning experience of exploration and discovery, while you learn more about the effects of sun seed and light on living things, and how would you apply the things you will learn in your daily lives. I hope you will find this video useful as you engage with all the learning activities. You will also find it helpful if you involve yourself in the topic. Read the lesson carefully, follow the instructions in all activities, and answer all the provided learning activities. For the facilitators, you are encouraged to guide the learners in achieving the desired learning competency presented in this video and remind the learners on the standards set to follow and supervise them while doing each activity to check if they are following the instructions given. Learning competency. Describe the effects of the sun. We have three learning objectives. First, identify the beneficial effects of the sun on living things. Second, identify the harmful effects of the sun on living things. And enumerate safety precautions to avoid the negative effects of too much exposure to sunlight. Let's get going! What I know. Say B if the statement is a beneficial effect of the sun seed and light, H if it is a harmful effect of sun seed and light, and S if it is a safety precaution to avoid the negative effects of too much exposure to sunlight. Let's have the first one. Wear a white brimmed hat on sunny days. Oh, yes, that's S. With the presence of sunlight, farmers can dry their crops. Mmm, that's B. Humans can do recreational activities. Oh, that's correct. Don't look at the sun directly. Mmm, that's S. Good. Long hot days can cause drought. Oh, see, that's H. Plants, when exposed to intense sunlight, may wilt and die. Okay, it's H. Don't play under the sun at noon time. Oh, yes, that's S. Good. Plants can make their own food through the presence of sunlight. That's right, it's B. Too much sunlight can make the soil dry and hard. Oh, it's H. And the last one, use sunblock lotion with SPF 15 during hot days. Yeah, that's S. Great job! Let's have what's in. You have learned about the role of the sun in the water cycle in the past lesson. 
So let's have a review about it by doing the following activity. Say that's right if the statement is true and oh if it is not. Let's have number one. The sun plays the major role in the water cycle. That's right. The sun is the only source of heat on earth. Oh, when the earth's surface is heated, evaporation takes place. That's right. Good. How about number four? The sun gives humans enough heat and light in order to live. That's right. Good. How about the last one? The temperature is high if the sun is shining brightly. Say this word again. Temperature. Mm, what's your answer? That's right. Wow. Let's proceed to what's new. Should we thank God for the sun? Recite the poem about the reasons why we should be thankful for the sun. Have fun reciting it. So let's have it. Be grateful for the sun by Cesar S. Martin. I'm grateful for the golden sun that shines down on every daughter and son. Its heat makes our clothes dry each day and allows us time to go out and play. I'm grateful for the golden sun that gives farmers and fishermen full of fun. Its heat makes their crops dry so their children will never ever cry. I'm grateful for the golden sun that gives children and animals time to play jump and run and gives light to every tree and plant so they can make their own food which they want. I'm grateful for the golden sun. I'll do my part so it won't be gone. Yes, it can harm everyone, but we'll have to practice safety precautions as one. Wow, did you like it? Let's have, what is it? This time, let's answer the following guide questions about the poem. Let's have letter A. Why do we have to be grateful for the sun? Mm. Or for the possible answer, we have to be grateful for the sun because it gives us heat and light for us to survive here on earth. How about this second question? Do all living things need sun, heat, and light? Why? Why not? Oh, for the possible answer, yes, all living things need sun, heat, and light because sun is the main source of heat and light which warms the earth. Let's have letter C. What activities of people that need sun, heat, and light? Mm. For the possible answer, some of the human activities that need sun, heat, and light are washing, drying of crops and fish, harvesting, and some recreational activities. When we say recreational activities, these are the things that would make you feel relaxed. For instance, you want to play with your friends or have a picnic with your family. Okay, let's have letter D. What should you do so that you won't be harmed by the intense heat and light of the sun? Mm. Mm. For the possible answer, you can protect yourself from the intense heat and light of the sun by practicing safety precautionary measures such as wearing of sunglasses, caps or hats, or clothes which protect the skin, and using an umbrella and, uh, of course, sunblock lotion on your skin. So you use lotion with SPF 15, when we say SPF, sun protection factor, and if the sun is shining brightly, you've got to use 
lotion with SPF 35 or more. Okay? Good. Let's have this. What's more? Did you know that the sun is an important creation of God, which gives light and heat to every living thing for survival? Let's take a look at these beneficial effects of the sun's heat and light on living things. First, plants can make their own food through, starts with letter P, photosynthesis. That's right. Plants need sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water to prepare their own food. For the second one, recreational activities are done by families. During sunny days, we can do recreational activities such as swimming, boating, and outdoor games. For the third one, farmers and fishermen dry their crops and fishes. On hot, warm days, fishermen dry their catch to preserve them, and farmers dry their crops too. Number four, it helps some skin conditions. Ultraviolet helps some skin conditions like psoriasis. When we say psoriasis, it's when the skin sheds its cells. It has scaly patches and it's itchy. For our number five, it helps moods. According to research, sunlight improves our mood because it stimulates our pineal gland in our brain, which exudes chemical called tryptamines. And for the last one, it is useful for disinfection and sterilization. Remember, our parents expose our beddings, clothes, and towels under the sun to reduce microorganisms because sunlight helps in deactivating viruses and bacteria. Let's do the first activity. Underline the beneficial effects of the sun's heat and light on living things. Give me one. Oh, plants can make their own food. What else? Yes, recreational activities are done by families. Good. Oh, farmers and fishermen dry their crops and fishes. That's also right. What else? Yes, it helps some skin conditions. The last one. It is useful for disinfection and sterilization. Great job! Let's have assessment one. Choose inside the box the correct group of words that tells the beneficial effect of the sun's heat and light on living things. Write your answers in the box. Let's have the first one. Yes, that's correct. It is useful for disinfection and sterilization. What else? It helps some skin conditions. That's right. What else? It helps moods. Good. Plants make their own food too. Right? That's also correct. And the last one? It helps some animals' vision. Yes, according to research, animals such as birds and bees can see into the near UV light. This is for them to find ripe fruits and flowers that will be more strongly seen from their background. Okay? None. Harmful effects of the sun. Too much exposure to sunlight can cause heat stroke and sunburn. Sunburn happens when your skin cells are damaged. Your skin becomes reddish and it's really itchy when burnt. We should not also look at the sun directly so that our eyes will not be impaired. Of course, intense sun's heat can cause loss of water from the bodies. So, what should we do? We should drink enough water to avoid dehydration and stomach cramps. And if there's too much sun seed and light, soil will be hard and cracked. It will also affect our plants, so we have to take good care of them. Just like us, working animals get sick if they're exposed from too much 
sun's heat and light. Let's proceed to activity two. Box five harmful effects of the sun's heat and light on living things. Oh, so you give me the first one. Where is it? Yes, it can cause sunburn. What else? Plants may wilt and die. That's right. It can cause visual impairment. Right? That's also correct. What else? It can cause skin cancer. That could be. And it can cause heat stroke. That's right. Okay, good job. This time, let's have assessment two. Read the scenario, then answer the question below. You and your family are planning to go to the beach. The weather is fine, yet you know that at high noon, you can feel the intense heat of the sun. Here's a question. What do you think will happen to you if you won't protect yourself from the intense sun, heat, and light? Hmm. Oh. oh, you can say, the things that might happen to me if I won't protect myself from the intense sun, heat, and light are my skin can get bad sunburn and my skin cells can be damaged too. Okay, good. Ways to protect oneself from the intense sun, heat, and light. Are you ready to learn about this safety precautions? We can protect ourselves from intense heat and light of the sun by practicing safety precautionary measures. For example, take a bath regularly. Why? Why do we need to take a bath during hot sunny days? Yes, it will help freshen our skin. That's right. Why do we need to eat fruits like watermelons, oranges, citrus, and the like during hot sunny days? like this boy why do you think so yes this is to help replenish lost water in the body the third one drink lots of water oh i'll drink my water first thank you why do we need to drink water this is to prevent dehydration and heat stroke it will also replenish lost energy from the hot weather conditions okay mm, let's see and we also need to apply sunblock lotion this is an example of a lotion and it has spf 20 if you can see that spf 20 and how should we apply it we have to put or we have to apply it in our arms okay yes that's it this is how we put or apply lotion mm. that's it now we should also use protective gears if the sun is shining brightly we can use this one what's this sunglasses uh, see and also you can use this one What's this? It's a red cap. Mm -hmm. Or it's also good if you wear the hat, a wide brimmed hat to protect your eyes and of course your skin. Okay, that's it. Let's get going. Activity three, arrange the jumbled words to form a sentence about the ways on how to protect oneself from exposure to excessive sun, heat, and light. Then, list down all the sentences you made in the box below. Let's have number one. Yes, drink lots of water. How about number two? What's the answer? What do you think is the answer? Mm, that's right. Wear the right clothing. What else? How about number three? Oh, I see. Apply sunblock lotion with SPF 15 or sun protection factor 15. How about number four? Eat fruits like watermelons. We have learned this one. And number five, don't stay under the sun the whole day. Great job! 
This time, let's have assessment three. We need to protect ourselves from intense heat of the sun. Find what we need to help us. There are five things hidden in the drawing. First, wide brimmed hat, umbrella, sunblock lotion, sunglasses, and a cap. Let's start with the wide brimmed hat. Where is that? Yes, that's it. How about the umbrella? There you go. That's correct. Where is the sunblock lotion? Where is it? That's it. How about the sunglasses? Oh, that's it. There's the sunglasses. How about the cap? Where is it? There you go. That's the cap. Good job. Where are you able to find all the hidden objects? Yes, I was able to find all the hidden objects. What do these objects do to help us protect ourselves from too much heat and light of the sun? Mm. That's right. These objects can protect our skin and eyes for us not to get sick. There you go. Good job. Let's proceed to what I've learned. Before we go further, let us first reflect on the effects of the sun by answering the following questions. Let's have the first question. What are the beneficial effects of sun's heat and light on living things? Can you give me two? Mm. The beneficial effects of sunlight on living things are it helps humans do numerous activities such as washing, drying of crops and fish, harvesting, and some recreational activities. It even helps the plants make their own food, right? Yes. How about number two? What are the harmful effects of intense sun, heat, and light on living things? Mm. The harmful effects of intense sunlight on living things are it can cause skin cancer, sunburn, heat stroke, visual impairment, stomach cramps, and can damage immune system and skin cells. How about number three? What are the safety precautions that we should practice to protect ourselves from the sun's heat and light? Mm. Some of the safety precautions that we should practice to protect ourselves from intense sunlight are wearing of sunglasses, caps or hats, clothes which protect the skin of your arms, hands, and feet while working, and using an umbrella and sunblock lotion on your skin. Good job! This time, let's have what I can do. Based on your learning in this video, think of how you would apply them by answering the following questions. You may write your answers on the blank. Let's have number one. In what way is the sun's heat and light helpful to you? To the farmers. Mm. For the possible answer, the sun's heat dries my clothes after washing them. Farmers also dry their crops during sunny days. That's right. How about number two? Too much exposure of sun's heat and light can harm you. If you were chosen to join the district campery to be held in a hot place, what preparations will you do? Why? Mm. Mm, okay, that's right. You can say I will bring sunglasses, hats, and clothes which will protect my eyes and skin of my arms, hands, and feet while participating in all activities. Okay, how about the number three question? If you work in a garden, how should you protect yourself from the intense sun's heat and light? Mm, I see. If I work in the garden, I should make sure to wear wide brim hat and clothes which protect the skin of my arms, hands, and feet while working or play under the heat of the sun and use sunblock lotion too. Good. Before we end the video, let's have first the pose assessment. Say the word red if the statement is a beneficial effect of sun's heat and light. Black 
if it is a harmful effect of the sun seed at night, and blue if it is safety precaution to avoid the negative effects of too much exposure to sunlight. Let's talk number one. Wear sunglasses in beaches while the sun is too hot. Yes, the answer is blue. How about number two? The sun seed is useful for disinfection and sterilization. That's right, it's red. How about number three? Don't expose your eyes to the glaring light. Mm, it's blue. Excessive sunlight damages immune system. It's black. Great job. The heat of the sun helps human needs. Mm, that's right, it's red. Intense sunlight can cause sunburn and skin cancer. That's also correct. It's black. Too much sunlight can cause visual impairment. Oh, it's black. Don't stay under the sun the whole day. It's blue. Good job. Wear long sleeves and trousers when working in the farm. Oh, it's blue. Number 10, sunlight helps some skin conditions. And that's Red, it's a beneficial effect of the sun's heat and light. Wow. Congratulations. Hi, you can refer to the following books for you to understand well the effects of the sun on living things. Congratulations. You're done with this video module.